You've heard that old saying, there's strength in numbers. Well, it turns out numbers may be our greatest defense against the spread of COVID. It's called herd immunity. And the way it works is that once enough of us become immune to the virus, spread of the virus slows and eventually the pandemic could die. Thanks to vaccinations, herd immunity has been effective at eliminating polio, smallpox, and until recently, measles. Unfortunately, we don't see lasting herd immunity against viruses that mutate quickly, like the flu or the common cold. Herd immunity is a place we'd like to be with COVID, and sooner rather than later. But how do we get there? It could happen naturally as the virus makes its way through our communities, but that could be dangerous because as we've seen, Many people with COVID become severely ill, and for some, it can actually be deadly. Many have been wondering, do people have some immune protection after they recover? Experts tell us they think that's true, but it's not proven. And if it's true, we're not sure just how long that immunity may last. But since herd immunity is our goal, to know if we're there, we first need to understand how fast the virus infects other people. That reproduction rate is what scientists call the r naught of the virus. And for COVID, that number is somewhere between two and three. So that means each person with coronavirus can infect on average between two and three others. The second part of the herd immunity equation depends on us, specifically how many of us are already immune. In a world where no one is immune to COVID and each of us is at risk, the virus can spread like wildfire. But imagine a world where there is herd immunity say 75% of us are already immune. That means three quarters of the people exposed to anyone with the virus just won't get sick. So even if a few of us have the virus, the rest of us who are immune stop it from spreading. That's the kind of numbers game we're talking about. But it's not a game. It's actually a formula based on that reproductive rate of the virus. Knowing that, we can figure out how many of us need to be immune for us to reach that sweet spot of herd immunity. And that critical threshold for COVID is when one half to two thirds of the US population is immune. That means somewhere between 150 and 216 million Americans need to be immune to meaningfully stop the virus from spreading throughout the country. But right now, most experts say, we're probably a long way away from these kinds of numbers. So just like with many other infectious diseases, the showstopper will be when most people can get a vaccine, once we have one that's proven to work. And the great thing about a vaccine is that it can help build a person's immunity, but without making them sick. Until then, we can all do our part to stop the spread of COVID through physical and social distancing, washing our hands, and staying home when sick. To learn more about herd immunity, visit abcnews.com.